Hey, we're gonna be reconnecting a hydraulic hose to a lever. We're working on a SRAM level T. So this bike was brought to me with uh, everything installed, the calipers installed, the levers installed here. They went ahead and they pre-measured their line here. And so we're just gonna reconnect with the barb and the olive. So you need to have always new hardware. Hardware is the barb and the olive. But uh, to go over a quick measurement, in case you guys are still have a really long line, we can go ahead. There's two ways. You can go ahead and turn your handlebar, get this end in line with your top tube over here. And this is just in case that bike falls over, hits the ground and the handlebars go flipping around. It doesn't pull on and take excess and want to rip the, the line out of your lever or you know off the, the frame or caliper. So we're in line here. Go ahead and bring this over. Take all the slack out. So you're going to basically, this hose is going to go against the frame and then you're going to line it up with wherever your lever is, which is going to be right here. And always imagine you're going to be sticking inside the lever maybe a quarter inch. So once you find what you need, you're going to hold it with your fingertip, pinch it, come back over here. And this little loop right here is going to be what you need to make that turn. So it looks good. If you when in doubt, you can always just add another inch or two. You can always go back and cut, but we just can't add. So that's where your fingers are. You probably have all this excess over here. So that's one way. The other way is to hold your handlebars straight. Go ahead and pull all your slack over right to where the, it's going to enter your lever. And then you're going to let it hold it in place and let it slide through your fingers. So the hose is on the left side. We're going to turn to the right, letting the hose slide through your fingers, lining up that end of the handlebar to the top tube. Stop there. And then you're going to pinch off the end where it's going to mark. Hold that, come back around. And again, you're, end, you're ending up with that nice loop right there. And like I said, when in doubt, just go ahead and add, give yourself an inch or two, um, and then clip it. So you can clip it with you can clip it with uh, wire cutters. Just make sure you get your angle correct. Um, it's going to maybe squash it a little bit, but you can go back and round it out. Not a big deal. Um, you could probably use cable housing cutters. Uh, they do make a specific hydraulic line cutter. Um, I don't have one. Haven't felt the need for one. I've had pretty good success. Just make sure anytime you cut this, make sure it's just flat and straight going across. You don't want to cut at an angle. If you do cut an angle, just cut that angle portion off. And then since we're working with dot fluid, definitely want to use uh, safety glasses and gloves. And if you get any drops or sprays anywhere on the bike, just go ahead and hit it with some isopropyl alcohol. Keep some in a bottle and then um, that'll pretty much, or, or some water at, uh, at that minimum.